Brooke Chavez here with Star Watch Media, and we're at the premiere of the film For the Love of Money at the Writers Guild of America Theater right here in Beverly Hills. Oh, so this is a treat. You play Yoni in the film, and you are the real Yoni, correct? Can you tell me more about the, ro the role in the film? Well, you know, him and his cousin came to, the, came to America with absolutely nothing and worked their way up from nothing to their own businesses and got mixed up not by no fault of his own with some really, really tough people. And the fact that he's standing here today on this red carpet is the most remarkable triumph ever because what he went through, most people would think was only written for a movie and what he survived, it's pretty amazing. Wow, now we don't want to give away too much of the movie, but what do you want viewers to take away from especially your role in the movie? Well, well we just come to a point to say, uh, there is a way to go and there is a way to go. And then the rest of it you see in the movie. Yeah. And we choose the right way. Absolutely. That's what we did. So wasn't that making that moral decision between right and wrong? Absolutely. And that's what the message is in the movie. And you will see it. So we want to know what made you decide to take on this role specifically. Well, what's amazing to me was that this story mirrored in a lot of ways what my father who also is Israeli and his experience coming to the States was. And when I read it, I called my family and I said, I just read a script that is, a, it seems like it's about us. So I never thought I'd come across that. And then when I got to set and met everyone, it felt like I was with my family. So it was a really amazing experience. That's awesome. Yeah. Is there a favorite part in the movie that either of you guys have? I don't want to give too much away. My favorite you gotta part give is us one a of the climaxes of this thing, where let's just say the tension gets really, really high, and uh, I got to work with some pretty remarkable did a actors. Good job. Very good job. Nah, I can tell you're you. Too sweet to I was gonna say, when you watched him, did you see yourself? Good job. The, when I came to him, I was hugging him. Yeah. And remember, I, remember. I was hugging him. I was like, wow, exciting. You know, all my hair was all goosebump. Right. Which for me was amazing because you thought, oh, there's the real guy. If I'm not good doing this right, you're gonna know. And he couldn't have been more giving. Oh yeah, you had to give, do him some justice, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. So you guys both live in Los Angeles, am I right? Mm -hmm. So is this a, a new friendship that's been a lifelong friendship? <laughs> Absolutely. We have we 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 we're inseparable, and it's yes, so much fun. Yes. We're so excited to see each other tonight. We, when we were shooting, he said to me, "I'm telling you, wait till this premiere." And and here we are. That's what I told him. He says, you see, I told you. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. I can see it already, <laughs> the bond. So can your fans find you and anything else? Do you have anything coming up in the future? Um, I just finished a couple guest stars on some TV shows on Harry's Law and Unforgettable and uh, NCIS LA and stuff like that. So I've been busy. So things are going well. And they're just starting to uh, rerun the Pacific HBO series. So, you know, my face seems to be out there, and I'm really thankful for that. I think it's awesome that you guys are here together. Our fans are excited to see the real Yanni, and we can't wait to see the film. Well, thank you so much. Thank you have a great night. Enjoy yourself.